Hi, welcome to the Cloud Managed Machine Learning at the Edge webinar. My name is Nataraj Kamaram. I lead the ML software development at NXP's business line Edge Processing. Here with me is David Walters from AWS. David, can you please introduce yourself? Thank you, Nataraj. My name is David Walters. I'm a senior partner solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. I work with our hardware and silicon vendors like NXP to help bring AWS services to the edge. Thank you, David. What is Edge ML? Edge devices goes beyond mobile devices, gateways, edge servers, and into the end IoT industrial and automobile devices with vision, voice, and sensor capability. In many cases, ML at the edge is a must because of many use cases with real-time response requirements, privacy and security requirements. Edge devices must have the capability to make predictions and decisions autonomously without the help from cloud or server. Machine learning algorithms must be trained with large data sets. This often requires data set collection, curation, data labeling, and training models. There are many ML frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, MXNet, to name a few. These frameworks are used to develop ML models. Once a model is developed, it must be converted and optimized for the edge device to run efficiently. SageMaker Edge uses SageMaker Neo to compile a model for a wide variety of devices. Your models can be compiled to run on the edge device for low power CPUs, GPUs, or NPUs such as the NXP's IDATAMX ADAM Plus SOC. Once a model is compiled, SageMaker Edge packs the model with its runtime and device specific credentials. Then you can use the AWS IoT Greengrass to, or you can use your own deployment mechanism to deploy the model and runtime package onto your end device. Next, I'll hand it over to David, who will walk you through the end-to-end -end ML workflow from AWS Cloud to Edge devices. In order to build a scalable connected product, you need a robust cloud-based machine learning operations and IoT device management solution. In the first stage, we need to use data and train a machine learning model. Once that model is trained, we need to take into consideration that it will be deployed to the edge. So we need to optimize the model to perform on energy and speed limited hardware. We needed a way to deploy that model over the air first to one device to see how it performs and then millions of devices as we scale. Finally, we perform inference at the edge and collect better data directly from the field so that it can be reused to build and train better models. Let's dive into the first phase of an MLOps pipeline, collection and preparation of data. As an enterprise, you might already have a collection of data that is stored in a data warehouse, but in order to train a machine learning model, we need to extract relevant data from that warehouse and transform it into an input that the model algorithm will expect. For telemetry-based data, such as sensor data, we can use extract, transform, and load pipelines to normalize data. And for computer vision algorithms, we need to prepare and label images to be consumed by the training algorithm. At AWS, we have the largest number of data warehousing and database services, such as Amazon DynamoDB for a NoSQL database, Amazon Relational Database Service for managed relational databases, and Amazon S3 for block storage. All of these services can be used to store collected data. Using analytics tools such as Amazon Redshift, Amazon Athena, and AWS IoT Analytics, you can query telemetry-based data from your warehouse that is meaningful. You can enhance it with additional data sets and normalize it for use in the model. Amazon SageMaker Ground Truth is an image labeling service to help you prepare and label image sets. Finally, store your clean data set into Amazon S3 to be used in your model training pipeline. The next phase in the MLOps pipeline is to build and train your model. 
You can use common tools like Jupyter Notebooks to orchestrate the preparation of data, prepare the model training algorithm, and kick off the training job. There are many pre-trained algorithms that are open source or platform specific that you can use for common use cases such as object detection, image classification, social distancing, or facial recognition. For unique use cases, your machine learning operations pipeline must be flexible enough to allow you to bring your own algorithm. Finally, training is a very heavy and compute intensive process. In order to save time, you want to use virtual instances in the cloud that are designed specifically for training machine learning models. Amazon SageMaker helps data scientists to facilitate their training workflows with common familiar tools such as Jupyter Notebooks or a fully managed ML development environment called SageMaker Studio. Notebooks and Studio allow you to prepare the data, load it, and kick off your training job. SageMaker offers ML optimized training instances to run your training jobs on a GPU accelerated instance or even use instances backed with AWS's own Trainium chip. ML optimized Instances like Trainium are built in a pay-as-you-go model, so you're only billed from the time your training job kicks off until the time it's done. The next phase in the pipeline is to optimize and package your model for an edge deployment. Now you have a model that's been trained in the cloud, but you need a way to ensure that you can get the best performance from the model when it's actually deployed to an edge device. You can optimize the machine learning model to use ARM-based CPU, an onboard GPU, or a neural processing unit to take advantage of hardware acceleration. Hardware accelerated models are smaller, faster, and consume less energy for battery powered devices. Machine learning models are intellectual property, and you've invested a significant amount of time, energy, and resources into building a model for your product. You need a way to sign those models using public key infrastructure so that only trusted devices can run your model and only trusted models can be run on the device. Finally, you need to build in an integration layer so that you can build meaningful applications that make use of your machine learning model. Now, let's talk briefly about using Amazon SageMaker Edge Manager to optimize your models for the i.mx 8n Plus, among other NXP devices. In a moment, he'll give more detail on how models compiled and optimized using Edge Manager can take advantage of the NPU on the device. Finally, Edge Manager, Edge Manager can be used to sign your model package it up into an easily deployable AWS IoT Greengrass model component. Once your model is optimized, you need to deploy it, monitor it, and manage it over the air. Using a common application framework to develop ML applications and deploy ML models ensures that models trained in the cloud can be run on many devices and a common runtime is used so that devices can interact with the machine learning model in a standard way. In order to scale your connected products, you need a way to update your devices with not just new machine learning models, but new software, new updates, and applications. Finally, you need a way to effectively manage and maintain visibility on how your devices and the machine learning models are performing across your fleet. AWS IoT Greengrass gives you a common runtime, application framework, and even pre-built application components, which you can easily add, remove, or update over the air. The Greengrass Runtime runs on your devices and allows you to use the Greengrass Cloud Service to deploy and manage software and configurations from the cloud. You can use AWS IoT Greengrass to deploy the Edge Manager agent, which is an additional software agent on the device that provides an easy API to interact with your model in an Edge device application. It also verifies the authenticity of the model deployed to the device and allows you to run multiple models on a single device at the same time. The Edge Manager agent reports additional metrics to the Edge Manager fleet monitoring service on the AWS cloud, which gives you additional visibility into the models running on your fleet of devices. Now that your models have been deployed to Edge devices, you want to run applications that can interact with that model and perform inference at the Edge. Applications might include sensor data collection or image capture and pre-processing before calling inference on the model. These Edge applications should filter and pre-process data before publishing data to the cloud to ensure only important data is sent and all the noise is filtered out. By using inference at the edge on silicon optimized for machine learning, you can vastly improve the speed, energy efficiency, and performance of your inference, allowing you to consume faster video, more telemetry, or react in real time to events such as audio and wakeboard detection. Finally, you will want to periodically collect metadata about how your model is performing. 
as well as real data uploaded to the cloud to evaluate how your model is performing and retrain the model using real world data and image sets. Devices can use Greengrass to publish to AWS IoT Core. AWS IoT Core is a device gateway and MQTT message broker that can scale to billions of devices and trillions of messages. Data acquisition for telemetry data and metrics can be published to IoT Core and periodic metadata, as well as captured images can be published to the cloud. And let me hand back over to Natraj to deep dive into how the IMX ADM Plus uses the MPU and other application peripherals that enable performant ML applications at the edge. The IDMX ADM Plus SOC has four Cortex-A53 processors and one Cortex-M7 processor. Machine learning models can be accelerated on a dedicated NPU neural processing unit capable of executing 2.3 tera operations per second. The IDMX ADM Plus also consists of a DSP and a 3D graphics engine where machine learning algorithms can be offloaded. It also has two-channel ISP image signal processor with de-warping and image enhancement capabilities. The SageMaker Neo compiled models can be accelerated on the NPU for faster inference time. Once a model is compiled, packaged, and deployed on the edge device, the performance such as latencies, prediction confidences of the model can be monitored using AWS SageMaker services. Later, models can be improved with the new field capture data and retraining the model and redeploying the new model on the edge. All these can be done seamlessly with SageMaker Neo services. Let me hand over back to David where he can demonstrate a complete end-to-end -end workflow from cloud to the edge device. Thank you. So let's put all this together. Let's take a look of a diagram of a real world use case. Starting from the right, we develop a new machine learning model on Amazon SageMaker. Using AWS IoT Greengrass deployed to the edge. An application at the edge consumes a stream from an IP camera and publishes data to AWS IoT Core. Data is stored in Amazon Timestream, which is a fast database optimized for time series data, and a dashboard is shown in Amazon Managed Grafana service for viewing and monitoring the performance of the machine learning model. Now, I'm gonna show a demonstration that implements everything you see on this diagram, as well as how to use AWS IoT Greengrass to update the model over the edge. In the demo's case, I'm only looking for a few devices in the development context, that is, built a model and I want to see how it performs. I update the model and I see improved performance. This completes an ML pipeline. But in a real context, imagine I'm developing this capability for a new connected product. Once I've selected a model that performs well at the edge, I can deploy this to my fleet of devices using AWS IoT Greengrass. The same services used, including AWS IoT Core and AWS IoT Greengrass work exactly the same. Whether I'm using one or two devices in a development context, or deploying the same model and application and managing the large amount of data coming to thousands of devices. In this demo, we're going to look at how devices that are running AWS IoT Greengrass, publishing into AWS IoT Core, can be monitored from an Amazon Managed Grafana dashboard. In this dashboard, we can see two different devices, the IMX 8M Quad EVK and the IMX 8M Plus. We can also see the last time that they both published a message into AWS IoT Core. We can see what machine learning model they're running. We can see the latest results of their inference, confidence levels, and the average performance. The classification results table at the bottom shows that both devices are classifying the same stream of a coffee cup similarly, and they're both getting about 968, which is uh, in ImageNet 1000 is a coffee cup. Note the performance though. We would expect something better than 72 milliseconds from the IMX 8M Plus using the NPU capabilities. So let's dive into the data. On this screen, we can see how the IMX 8M Plus is actually performing. So on the right hand side, we get the latest values. So every second we're getting a new classification result. 
uh, with the results, the confidence levels and performance. And we also have some nice graphs that show us uh, confidence levels and performance levels over time. We can see that uh, you know it is uh, sticking between the 29 to 32% confidence levels on this uh, picture of a coffee cup. But let's have a little bit of fun. Let's bring the dog on camera and see how MobileNet V1 model actually classifies a dog. So I did have to skip in time just a little bit to get her situated on camera, but now we can see the cameras aimed at her and uh, we're getting new classification results. So these results are in the 200 range mostly. So we're gonna to start to see more 200 uh, results in the 200. So we can see, for example, 257 is classifying her as a Great Pyrenees. So she's actually a golden retriever, but if you look at images, of uh, Great Pyrenees, they're, they're pretty similar, so I understand where the model is getting that uh, getting that classification. But I'm, I'm not too happy about the confidence levels and performance still. So I need to consider updating my model um, to a better performing model. To update the model over the air, we can use AWS IoT Greengrass. So first, let's look at our IMX 8M Plus device. We can see currently that it's running a couple different types of software. Specifically, it's running a MobileNet V1 224 non-quantized model, which that might be our problem. We want to update that model to a quantized model. We also have the MobileNet TFL Lite DLR client, which is an application that consumes an RTSP stream, pre-processes images, and then calls classification on that model. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that MobileNet V1 model to a MobileNet V2 model that is quantized for UNA. Now, normally we would do training on Amazon SageMaker. However, for the sake of the demo, I've already created the, the MobileNet V2 quantized model. So I need to go and configure my MobileNet TF, uh, TF Lite DLR application to start using the new MobileNet v2 model. So I need to update a few parameters in here. I need to tell the application to use quantized images rather than uh, non-quantized images. Finally, I'll click on next, and then you can see that I've removed the old model, I've added the new model, and finally I click on deploy. So now the new model and the updated configuration for the software is being sent to the device. So let's check our Grafana dashboard. Uh, we can see that it hasn't quite updated to show the current model yet. So in that case, we can look at the AWS IoT Core MQTT test. And so right now we're only seeing uh, results come in from the IMX 8M QEVK, but now, just now, we see some messages coming in using MobileNet V2 ImageNet, which is from our IMX 8M Plus. So now our Grafana dashboard is updated and we can see a huge improvement in the performance. So now we're sitting down at 10, sub 10 millisecond range, so between three and five milliseconds uh, to perform MobileNet V2. And we can also see a significant rise in confidence levels. But the real test is to see how MobileNet V2 quantized model classifies a dog. So let me get her back on camera. She was on camera very briefly this time, but we do see uh, results in the 200s again, and we see much higher confidence levels and much better performance in the three point. 7.5 milliseconds, 3.91, so basically everything sub 5 milliseconds. And that concludes this short demonstration on how you can use Greengrass V2 to manage your edge devices, manage the software on your edge devices, and manage the machine learning models that run at the edge, and then use the IMX 8M Plus NPU acceleration capability with quantized models to vastly improve the performance and confidence levels 
of the devices that perform inference at the edge. To get started using AWS IoT and machine learning services, you can follow the links on the slide to learn about connectivity and device control, as well as machine learning in the cloud and at the edge. To get started building edge applications on a device built for machine learning performance and that implements critical security features, you can use the i.mx ADEN Plus Evaluation Kit. You can learn more about machine learning training on NXP Silicon by following the links on the right-hand side. Thank you very much for your time during this session. We really enjoyed showcasing solutions from AWS and NXP, and I hope you found the session useful when thinking about deploying your own scalable machine learning and IoT products. Wish you a great rest of the ARM Dev Summit 2021.